Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. I've been trying to put this video out for many years now, but every summer passes and I miss my opportunity. So today I just wanna talk about all the ways you can protect your hair, your curls, from the sun, the pool, and the sea. I know you're coming up on the end of the summer here, and if you're anything like me, you like to have your fun in the sun. So if you'd like to learn more about these ways, just keep watching. So let's first start talking about the ways we can protect our hair from the sun. Outside of the harmful UV rays you're exposed to, you also have to deal with the heat, the wind, the humidity, and the everyday pollutants. For UV rays, the options I like include things like hats and certain hair protectants. I personally feel like a wide brim hat, but because I am a mom on the go, I also like these foldable UPF 50 hats because they are breathable, they're bendable, and they're good for walks. But they also work well in the water. You can get these wet and they dry pretty quick. There's even a little hole that you can put your ponytail through, which comes in really handy. As far as products go, I do have a few options that are already really good curly hair products, but also they help protect the hair from UV rays. If you like something that acts like a leave-in conditioner, you can try the Innersense Hair Love Prep Spray. On the back here, it says that it contains vitamin B and rice protein to restore strength and shine while plumping hair from roots to ends during styling. It also contains baobab and angelica root to provide care for thermal, UV, and environmental exposure. When I spray this on my hands, you can see there's little bubbles. Maybe you can't see it because I can see the glare here. It actually reminds me of like a styling foam, but in a spray form. Um, and it's very, very lightweight. So it's very fine, curly hair friendly, and it doesn't contain any silicones. Another lightweight option that also has UV protection is the Wee Dad's Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. This has been circulating in my curl collection for a really long time. So you've already seen me talk about this if you've been following my channel. They do make this in two versions, so there's the original and the stronger hold. I personally prefer the stronger hold because I like my definition to last for more than a couple days. Um, I feel like this is really nice, um, especially if you are really low density or maybe you just don't want that much hold but the stronger hold is something i personally prefer the last product i want to mention for uv protection is hair oil i know a lot of the times when i go into the beauty supply store and i look for maybe a hair oil that is primarily for UV protection. They do typically contain silicones. And to me, that's not a huge deal. But when it comes to swimming and chlorine, um, just being out in the sun, especially if your hair is colored, that might be the only time I consider using silicones. The elements can be a bit harsher. So if I do use a silicone, I make sure that I clarify and deep condition every time I take a dip. However, I do wanna be able to offer you a few silicone-free options, especially when it comes to using a true oil. The first oil option I wanna give you is coconut oil. It is a heavier oil, not something I would typically recommend for finer, low-density types, but um, it's amazing for pre-poos. Um, so if I have a lot of tangles, I like to use that prior to washing my hair with shampoo just to help melt away those tangles. But also it's a good UV protectant. Um, if I am going to use oils and maybe sleek my hair back that day, I will spritz my hair with water to get the moisture in there and then I'll seal it with some coconut oil. You can also try some other oils. Um, avocado oil is really good, raspberry seed oil and carrot oil. These are not going to replace an SPF, but they will offer your hair some protection. For those of you that don't mind using a silicone every once in a while, the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil is a really good option. It's really good for colored hair. It offers UV protection. It's lightweight and reparative. Another option that does contain silicones that smells really good and is also a little bit lightweight is the Way Hair Oil. That one's just really nice and light and it smells really nice. Now let's move on to a couple options for the scalp. Um, I recently went on a trip to Palm Springs and I wanted to make sure that if I didn't wear a hat, I had something to protect my thinning areas and parts. So I invested in a couple options here. The first one is by Kula. It's their scalp and hair mist. It's SPF 30. Um, this is not a physical sunscreen. It is chemical, although Kula does use 70% organic ingredients. So the way you're gonna use this is shake it up really well and you're gonna spray directly into your part, maybe your thinning areas, like if you have a bald spot or something, go ahead and cover that area. 
I don't typically use a chemical sunscreen, but this one didn't give me an irritation. I know it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. And one thing about putting on some sort of sunscreen on your scalp is you want clear, right? You really don't want to see it, especially if your hair is dark like mine. So this is a really nice option for dark hair. Um, I also picked up this one from Ulta Beauty. This is the Mineral Hair and Scalp Powder. This is SPF 45. It is made with zinc oxide. Um, this is kind of, think of it, think of this like dry shampoo. Okay, so if I pour it into my hand, it's like a white powder, okay? It's something that you're gonna have to blend in really well, but if you are looking for a chemical free option, this is the one. You're just gonna wanna tap this into your parts and your thinning areas like I was doing with the other one. But even when I blend it into my hands, it seems pretty translucent. I'll show you now how it's going to look. All right, so this might get a little messy. All right, so now it's in my part and I'm going to just kind of blend it in there. So I do feel like it looks a little white. This probably will be a really good option for those of you that maybe have blonde curls or, um, or I don't know, you can try some other options, I guess, but you don't wanna get rid of too much of it. You wanna make sure you're protecting your scalp. Um, I'm kinda of scared to put it here, but let's try it out. I didn't really care when I was in Palm Springs because I was by myself with my family, but you know. Not everybody wants that. Okay, let's try that. Hope that wasn't too much. I mean, it blends out, but you know, it's not perfect. <laughs> All right. For all of my active swimmers out there, let's just face it, you're going to get your hair wet, unless of course you choose to use a swim cap. When I was growing up, our swim caps were like pretty small and um, really not good for like very thick, long curly hair. They do make them now that are designed to hold more hair um, and they still keep the water out. They're actually good for people that have locks as well. So that's just one option for you. If you're not into the swim caps, I totally get it not the most fashionable thing not everybody wants to wear them but let's talk about some of the things you can do before you jump in and the aftercare at the very minimum i've learned that you should at least rinse your hair prior to jumping into the pool or into the ocean and the reason why is because when you're jumping into let's say a pool the first thing your hair is absorbing is that chlorinated water. So by rinsing your hair first, your hair is absorbing the fresh water first. So by rinsing your hair first, you're just offering your hair a little bit more protection. The same needs to be done after you get out of the pool or the ocean. It's good to rinse your hair of all the chlorine or the seawater. If you don't rinse it, I'm sure you've seen it or this has happened to you before, your hair can get really frizzy and dry and if your hair is colored or already damaged, it can become more damaged. So it's really important just to rinse off the salt water or chlorine after you get out. Now I think we should talk about clarifying the hair. In general, I like to personally clarify my hair at least twice per month, but especially if you are constantly in the pool, you're gonna wanna make sure you get everything off. If you're just co-washing all the time, it's unlikely that you're gonna remove all the residue that you need to. The unfortunate part about clarifying your hair is that it can leave it feeling stripped and dry. A lot of the clarifying shampoos you'll find on the market do contain sulfates, but the good news is we are in 2021 
and there are a lot of gentle clarifying options out there. One of my favorite sulfate free options is the Kinky Curly Come Clean. This is something I do use um, a couple times per month to clarify my hair. This is a chelating formula. I find it to be very gentle yet effective and it's going to remove everything including hard water. The other shampoo I want to mention is by We Dad. It's their Waterworks Clarifying Shampoo. This one does contain sulfates but I find that it works well on the curls. It's going to remove everything from salt water, uh, chlorine, and also hard water residue. Naturally, after you use a clarifying shampoo, you are going to need to deep condition, but the key is to use something that is moisture rich. Two of my personal favorites for deep conditioning include the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Mask and the Curlsmith Double Cream Deep Quencher. These are both super rich and offer long lasting hydration. If you wanna amp up the results, just invest in a thermal heat cap to really penetrate the hair mask onto the hair. And those are my recommendations on how to protect your hair from the sun, the pool, and the sea. I'd love to hear from all of you now. Let me know your favorites from this list or if you have some you want to recommend, please let us know down below in the comments. It's always a wealth of information down there. If you're new to the Fine Curly Crew, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of my new content. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends, and I'll see you on the next one.